Knowing we are never alone as we enter into the woods, we recall the Lord's words to Joshua before he entered the promised land in Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 through 9. No one shall be able to stand against you in all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the laws that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from, uh, from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not, shall not depart out of your mouth, and you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that it is all that is written in it for then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall be successful i hereby command you be strong and courageous do not be frightened or dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go this is the word of god for the people of god thanks be to god God speaks to us through every facet of our lives, doesn't God? At home, at work, at play, at school, and in science, in medicine, in nature, and even in the woods. God will use anything to help us understand, to make life come into focus, to click, to give us these aha moments. So for these six Sundays during Eastertide, the time from Easter to Pentecost, we're looking at uh, the movie house and seeing what God would have us learn through some of these movies. And last Sunday, we looked at the powerful true story of the World War II bombardier Louis Zamperini. But today, the genre changes. Although when Louis was captured and put into a Japanese POW camp, he had in a sense entered into the woods, which is the title of our movie this morning, uh, this one uh, weaves together four well-known fairy tales. Cinderella, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, I see her hood there, and Rapunzel. And then there's added a tale of a childless baker and his wife. It's a rendition of Stephen Sondheim's Tony Award-winning Broadway stage production back in 1987. Meryl Streep won an Academy Award this year for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal as the witch. Some of the other Actors in, in the movie, Anna Kendrick is Cinderella, James Corbin is the baker, Emily Blunt is the baker's wife, Tracy Ullman is Jack's mother, and Johnny Depp is the wolf. Be careful what you wish for is kind of an underlying theme, and that's a, a good theme for our own lives because there are consequences. Uh, but yet some of the most valuable lessons of life um, come to us when we enter into the woods, um, but they come sometimes at a great cost. What each of us covet, what we really want, and then sometimes get, isn't quite what we thought it might be in the end, is it, when our wishes are fulfilled. Um, these new stages present their own set of problems. Cinderella wishes to go to the festival. Rapunzel, locked in a tower, wishes to see the world. Prince Charming and his equally charming brother wish to find their true loves. Little Red Riding Hood wishes to bring her grandmother a loaf of bread. Jack wishes his cow would give milk, and his mother wishes they weren't so poor. The baker and his wife wish they could have a child. Let's watch in song, how this all plays out in the beginning of this movie. 
So that's how the story unfolds. And by the end of Act 1, if you came to the point of intermission, uh, everyone's wish comes true. Cinderella gets her prince, Jack gets the giant's harp, the baker and his wife get a child, and so on. But that's not how Grimm's fairy tales end. And it's neither the way our lives tend to play out in, this, in similar fashion. In Act 2, everything falls to pieces. There's a second giant, the giant's wife. And this giant goes on a killing spree. The princesses cheat. The couple resorts to blaming and bickering. And the characters question their original wishes. What they stole along the way and what they sold out to fulfill their dreams. Nobody quite lives happily ever after. What happens when our understanding of the world goes from black and white to quite distinctly gray? C.S. Lewis, I love this quote, once said, We are not necessarily doubting that God will do the best for us. We're wondering how painful the best will turn out to be. So, the woods. We all enter it uh, at one time or another and sometimes often. It has the potential to bring out the best in us. It can be a transformative place. The baker and his wife sing, there's something about the woods, not just surviving, you're blossoming in the woods. At home I'd fear we'd stay the same forever. You push your children, don't you, to enter into new life with all of its potential uh, problems. So in the woods, in the wilderness, the people of Israel celebrated their newfound freedom. One moment. And then Act 2, they quickly become distraught at the dire consequences uh, that they find themselves. In the woods, Jesus was ministered to by angels. And then, Act 2, he's tempted by the devil. We usually get a new perspective of life uh, by going into the woods, by going and experiencing these um, new encounters that we face. In this next clip, Jack's going to be singing about how different the world looks after he had been in the sky with the giant and the giant's wife. He'll sing, and you scramble down, and you look below at the house, at the world you left, and the things you know, the roof, the house, and your mother at the door, the roof, the house, and the world you never thought to explore, and you think of all the things you'd seen, and you wish that you could live in between, and you're back again, only different than before. So this um, witch comes into play. Meryl Streep, what an actress she is. The witch tells the baker and his wife that she will remove the curse that is keeping them from having a child if they bring her four things. A cow as white as milk, a cape as red as blood, hair as gold as corn, and a slipper as pure as gold. Putting them together into a potion that will reverse not only their curse, but the curse on her uh, that has made her ugly. The problem is that all of these things are essential props in other interweaving stories. If the baker and his wife take them, J then Jack will not have a cow to trade for magic beans. Rapunzel will not have hair to let down so her prince can climb the tower. Little Red Riding Hood will not be able to go to 
her grandmother's house, and Cinderella's prince will not be able to find her. What happens to wishes when they cancel each other out? That's one of the things that this movie will pose. When one person's wish is another's nightmare. When the handsome prince explains that he was raised to be charming, not sincere. In this next clip, we find the witch alone in a tower in the middle of the woods with Rapunzel, who she has raised since birth. There is real protective love with the witch. Listen to her sing a portion of the song that you're going to hear in its entirety after this message. Children will listen. So the witch really wants her daughter just to love her and to never leave her. We parents often worry about what's in the outside world, don't we? When we have to let go. Uh, sometimes we're hyper-protective. It's wrong-headed to be hyper-protective, but it's something that we sometimes all are. There's always a giant in the world. Uh, and as a community, sometimes we come together to fight the giant. Have you ever noticed that children, especially boys, often draw monsters as if they're getting ready for their fears so they can confront them? So they're in action figures and, and superheroes. As safe as the world may be to them, they know they have to be ready for the scary stuff out there. We realize that trouble is coming no matter what we do. This beautiful song, Children Will Listen, has in the lyrics, Careful the things you say, children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see and learn. Children may not obey, but children will listen. Children will look to you for which way to turn, to learn what to be. Careful before you say, listen to me. Did you hear the witch singing to her daughter that she wants to shield her from the world? Stay with me, she sings. The world is dark and wild while you can still be a child with me. Stay a while while you can still be a child. The sad thing with the witch is that when she is able to restore her beauty and her wishes fulfilled, she finds out that that wasn't what her daughter wanted at all from her. Meryl Streep was asked, what, what are the takeaways from this film? And she says, you may not take away something from the film as much as you will have an awakening of stuff you already know about relationships and complexities and forgiveness. We remember what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put away my childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And Solomon says in Proverbs 22, start children off, train up the child on the way they should go, and, when, and even when they are old, they will not turn away from it. Meryl Streep took her daughter, her adult daughter, to a showing of Into the Woods, and she said she watched her expressions throughout the movie, and she said at times when it was funny, she didn't laugh. And at times when it was emotional, she, she didn't cry. She just stayed pretty stone-faced. And afterwards she said, what did you think of it? 
And she said, Mom, I loved every part of it. She said, there was something in there, though. When I was in the fifth grade, and we lived in New York, and the World Trade Center came down. And I remember all the paper and all the debris coming down. And that's what I thought of for a moment when the forest was uh, coming down. So yes, bad things happen in the world and children are aware of them. It's an interesting perspective of hope. So we come to the end of the, of the movie and they're playing uh, the blame game. Uh, all the characters, uh, things haven't turned out the way they thought. That it's not the happy ending, so everybody's blaming everyone else. And they finally decide that the second giant needs to be killed. But listen to the response of Little Red Riding Hood. I love Little Red Riding Hood in this movie. Hmm. For me, that's the essence of this movie. That as we go through the woods of our lives the dark times, the transformative times, that we need to go through it with the Lord because the Lord never forsakes us. The Lord never leaves us alone. Moses said to the Israelites, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you did you notice in the passage today from joshua how many times god said to joshua be courageous and strong he said not once not twice but three times in fact said at one time be strong and very courageous do not be frightened or dismayed for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go Remember what Jesus said, his last words in Matthew, as he's ascending into heaven, remember I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And the beloved 23rd Psalm says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil because you are with me. One last short clip talks about, it's kind of in a summary way, of what we need to do with children. Christian, that's the baker's wife who has died. And the baker in this story was abandoned by his father. And he was ready to now abandon his son. And his wife comes to him in the spirit and says, what she just said in song uh, and reminding him of hold him to the light and we know as Christians the light is the light of Christ tell him what you know this passage in Joshua says that we are to put God's words on our on our lips and recite them to our children every day establish a foundation train up uh, the child, calm the child, and a new family is formed at the end of this movie. And Cinderella, who has decided that Prince Charming was nothing more than charming, and she really doesn't want to be with him, she says to the baker, I didn't mind doing housework. I'll join you and and help you along the way. In Little Red Riding Hood, she was alone now, but you know she, she was cut out of the belly of the uh, beast, the wolf, the wolf. That's beautiful, that's the gospel. And she says at one point, do not put your faith in a cape and a hood. So we ask, where do we put our faith? And we put our faith in Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. It's a fanciful tale, but God speaks in a lot of beautiful ways, even in Scripture, in parable, and metaphor, and allegory. Uh, so God can speak through a movie like this.
Denise Alexander is going to sing Into the Woods. It was originally made famous by Bernadette Peters in the Broadway musical. Then it was done beautifully by, by Barbara Streisand. And Denise has that Barbara Streisand voice, so enjoy. Enjoy, children will listen. Careful the things you say, children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see and learn. Children may not obey, but children will listen. Children will look to you for which way to turn to learn what to be careful before you say listen to me children will listen careful the wish you make wishes our children careful the path ye take wishes come true not free Careful the spell you cast, not just on children. Sometimes the spell may last past what you can see and turn against you. Careful the path they tell that is the spell children will listen children will listen Thank you, Denise and Mark. That was beautiful. I couldn't wait to hear that. So we're looking at movies and how God can speak to us when we look at them through Christ's eyes, and that's the eyes that God would have us to look at them. We can see some beautiful things, and as Meryl Streep said, maybe there wasn't any new revelation, but there was sure... Um, an affirming of things that we already knew, but we can kind of let it get away from us. Uh, so there's a, a beautiful world out there, dangerous as it is. Uh, the best thing that we can do for our children and for ourselves is to enter it and walk in it uh, with God by our side, the one who will never forsake us and who loves us more than life itself may the peace of christ go with you in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen <laughs>